I suppose as a violinist, uh, you hear about instruments like Stradivarius and Guarneri's and you think, you know, never in my lifetime will I ever get the chance to play on one of these instruments. And it would have been absolutely impossible if it weren't for the ACO Instrument Fund. This violin will have its first public outing during the Marla 4 and Sibelius 6 tour in June this year and subsequently will be heard in the ACO around Australia and around the world for many years to come after that. <laughs> um, I guess I first saw the ACO play when I was about 15 or 16 and um, was pretty much hooked at first performance. I was actually studying medicine at that time and after that I, I pursued um, violin more seriously and in 2008 um, I took part in their Emerging Artists program. So I auditioned for the orchestra the year after that and I've been with them since, since then. This violin is very different to the violin that I play normally. What, what I find so incredible about um, getting a chance to play this 1714 uh, Joseph Guarneri, uh, Phileas Andrea. Um, uh, I mean, it's the first chance I've probably had to, to get to know an instrument of this quality and of this age, I suppose. And uh, the, I guess the sign of a good modern instrument is that it will do whatever you ask it to do. But when you pick up an instrument like this, there's this sensation that I mean, it's got a soul that's exactly 300 years old and I feel that it's so much older and so much wiser and has played so much more music. It's almost kind of guiding you as to how it wants to be played based on its experience. And when, when one thinks about it, it's quite overwhelming.